What's up everyone? My name is Chris from Create Daily and Denver Wedding Films and today I'm here to talk to you about shooting dancing at weddings as a solo wedding videographer. This is really fun uh, because there's like 20,000 different ways to do this. One thing I want to mention is all the music is removed just due to copyright so if you're wondering hey why can I hear anything that's why. So filming dance footage at weddings can be really fun. A lot of people go handheld and, and I do too at times, but for this particular wedding I decided to stay on my gimbal. And I was on my 50mm and that's something that you guys should definitely invest in. Invest in some sort of prime lens with a very low f-stop. For instance, this 50mm goes down to 1.2. I don't know if there are any other Sony lenses that do that. Um, the reason for that is the lower the aperture, the more light you let into the lens. And when it comes to filming wedding dancing, you want to get shots of the bride and groom, but you also, there's all these people around you, right? So don't think of them as being in the way, use them to your advantage. So lots of times you'll see me shooting over the shoulders of people or having someone in the foreground and where my main subject, whether it's the bride or groom, or maybe the person who I'm trying to capture dancing is the actual main subject, that just creates more depth. Now, if you have a prime lens or if you've done any research into them, you know the expression, you have to zoom with your feet because it's a fixed focal length, right? So with this, I try to get a variety of wide, medium, and tight shots, the, the best that I can do with a 50 millimeter lens. Um, and what that allows me to do is have a variety of cuts and posts. And sometimes for weddings, I'll actually leave my lights on that I use for the special dances and the toasts for the first few minutes of this dancing. You kind of have to play by ear on that and read the room and also communicate with the DJ because the DJ, they bring their own lights as you see the, the lasers and things like that and the lights up against the wall, that's all of their lighting. So just make sure you communicate and uh, you know they should be fine with you having it up for the first few minutes. So you see it there, I have a little bit of foreground in, in my shot and I'm just getting my, my focus on my subject right there. And um, it just makes for really good footage. So an experienced wedding videographer will tell you at some point, all of your dance footage ends up looking the same. So you have to be smart with it and, uh, and be a little bit creative with how you shoot things. I also use the opportunity when filming wedding dancing to get extra shots of people who are important to the couple. It could be certain friends or family members or maybe you know this guy who can really break it down. Um, but uh, that, that's just another, another thing to keep in mind. Also, if you see someone who's like bringing the energy, getting the party started, they're most likely going to love the getting the attention on camera. So. Go over to and follow them. That's what I did with this guy a little bit and he really got the people going. So I was like, why not? <laughs> All right, so in this particular moment, the photographer was nice enough to include me. Hey, the couple's about to cut the cake. Um, can you you know, come over with us? And um, as I cut it, and then I go, oh shoot, let me go grab my, my, Loom, cube, my Loom Cube light, which is 
what I'm using right here. It's this little handheld light and it's super small, super tiny. So I'm gonna put my camera down and go grab it real quick. All right, so I grab my light. I'm running back over to where uh, they're about to cut the cake. And uh, you can't really tell from this, go even from this GoPro shot, but for this, I actually held the gimbal with my left hand and then held out the light with my right hand. And I was just trying to shine it on uh, just to bring a little bit more light um, rather than relying completely on the, on the laser lights and on all the DJ lights. You're not gonna always have that advantage, but thankfully the couple and the photographer were all patient enough to let me go get that. So with this, I love starting with a wider shot when it comes to cutting the cake, um, just because you don't know how they're gonna react. And in the event that they both have a fun or funny reaction, you, can, you still have uh, both of them in the shot. And then what you can do too, is after they cut the cake, zoom in, get those tight shots, just as a nice cutaway that you can use in, uh, in your edit. And so, you know, the guy was very nice enough to be like, oh no, my bad. But I actually like getting that action out of, out of my shots rather than just having stagnant things. So I told him, I was like, dude, go for it. I have Hannah and Nick's wedding film linked below. And at the time of making this video, I have like maybe 40 or 50 subscribers. So make sure to leave a comment, like, or sub, um, anything really for that matter. I'd really appreciate it.